Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have an update from the Divine Masculine. We're going to find out how they're currently feeling about the Divine Feminine in the Twin Flame Collective. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so I'm getting that this Divine Masculine is really reminiscing about you at the moment, okay? Um, they're definitely thinking about any type of memories they have with you and missing you, okay? Um, this Divine Masculine is actually having a hard time getting you off their mind. They are really getting guided to move forward, but I do see this Divine Masculine choosing not to, right? I see this Divine Masculine ignoring their intuition. There's something about... um them going towards what they truly want that like scared them okay um they're a little bit intimidated by happily ever after they're also a little bit intimidated by you they feel like um you have it all they're also not sure on how you're feeling okay it's like they're watching you to try to figure out clues on how you're feeling but overall this divine masculine is in their ego and pretending that they don't care while watching you okay it's like they're pretending they're moving away while watching you, but it's like a very secretive, like, watching you, right? Um, yeah, it's like this divine masculine is choosing to... It's like stay on a low vibration. So it's like they feel like you're too much, okay? They're not really sure. It's like you're out of their league. They're not really sure if they can match up to you. Um, so it's like they prefer to, like it's easier for them to pretend they're happy, okay, or it's easier for them to, you know, have relationship with people that they feel like is on their level, if that makes sense. Um, it, it, it's like they feel like you're really valuable, but they have a really... It's like they're insecure here about themselves, okay, especially about their money. They feel like you're in a really good um, spot financially. You're very stable compared to them, and that's something that sort of intimidates them. Um, again, they feel like they would rather go for people more in their league, if that makes sense. So, like, for example, um, if they're in a position at their job, they prefer to date people like on the same position or lower so they can like to date somebody like you that scared them okay to come near you sort of scared them to even talk to you scared this divine masculine um they don't see their own value right they really see your value but they don't see their value and this makes them stay away from you and basically continue down this path where they are not happy in um and this is all out of ego okay this is this divine masculine ignoring their intuition and basically staying away from you because they think that's easier and the thing is about this divine masculine that i'm picking up is they know they're not happy they know that you make them happy they know that being with you would make them really happy but it's like they're scared to take that step forward they're scared to it's like they're scared to talk to you they also feel like um it's like them putting this on hold okay like trying to put this on hold okay the spirit trying to guide them to communicate with you and they're like you know what i'm gonna do this later um, but this is them really, this is stemming from insecurity. They feel like they, they're not enough, they don't have enough. Um, there's definitely something about their finance, okay, that's making them insecure here. And again, things are not about money or material things, but this is just how this masculine is feeling at the moment. You could be dealing with an Aries or a Virgo.
I'm hearing um, sunshine, maybe that's somebody's nickname. Let me know if that resonates. You could be dealing with a Leo here. The thing is about this Divine Masculine is they feel like it's easier to keep a bunch of different options that are on their level. Um, and instead of coming forward and it's like being romantic. This person isn't very comfortable with being romantic. Um, they're not comfortable with showing their feelings. Even though they're not in a great place, they prefer to, you know, be in this place than to come forward and express their emotion. Okay, this person's also really worried about what other people around them think, okay? I'm getting something about like a trip, okay? This could be a holiday or something. Maybe this is like long distance. Um, so we got the king and queen of wands over here, okay? Um, the thing is, this divine masculine is pretending that they're not interested and not looking at you. The thing is, is, they're just staying away from you because they feel like they don't have enough to offer here. You're also dealing with a selfish divine masculine, okay? Somebody who thinks um, having a lot of options, okay? It's like they think it looks it look cool or something, okay, to have a lot of options and be selfish and not to care, okay? This is how this person is thinking. You're also dealing with somebody that um, it's like they're trying to trick people around them out of thinking that they're interested in you by talking shit about you. Okay, this person is constantly talking shit about you um, to people around them, but the thing is is they're constantly bringing you up and the people around them realise this, right? Like, this person cannot let you go. And the thing is, they're trying to manipulate people around them into thinking that they're over this, that they would never go there. But people can see right through this person and... Again, it's like they're trying to throw people off, right? You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Libra. Thing is, is this person... They're really trying to hide the emotion for you, and they keep coming up, okay? They just keep coming up. People can see right through them. They're even trying to, like, date other people to throw you off and throw other people off and pretend they don't feel the way they really feel. This person constantly getting signs about you, constantly dreaming about you. They cannot stop thinking about you. I do see this person... Um, this is them, like, trying different things, different people, 
trying to find you in different people, but them failing. It's just like when they go to sleep at night, they can't stop thinking about you. They're really disappointed because they feel like this is a missed opportunity. They also can't stop watching you on social media. I'm hearing that song. Um, I think it's called Driver's License. From um, Olivia Rodriguez, I think. Okay. This person is really trying to pretend they're happy here, okay? Um, to the people around them. They could even be in some type of relationship pretending that they are happy. The thing is, um, they can't stop thinking about you. And I'm hearing things through the cracks. Like, people around them can see that this person really has a special connection with you. And they also can see that this person trying really hard to pretend that they don't. I'm hearing the name Emmanuel. Oh. So this person, okay, um, they've caused a lot behind the scenes. They've also lied about something, okay? This person's lied about something. This is like lying about something that's not true, okay? And this person is really talking shit about you, trying to make out that you're a bad person for whatever reason, okay? Because this person actually really admires you and has a lot of love here for you, but for some reason, they don't want people to know that. I'm hearing they're married. For some of them, they could be married or in a commitment. That's probably why. But, again, people can see through this person. So the thing is, they've said something about you that's a lie or it's a secret. Um, and they've made you to look like the bad person, okay? They've also made you to look like somebody that isn't who they seem to be, okay, again, for whatever reason, this is not going to resonate for everybody, I'm hearing Nikki, okay, that could be somebody's name, nickname, could be Nicole, This person, um, for whatever reason, they've really been harsh here, okay? They've really been saying some bad things here about you. There's definitely them trying to make you look bad to people around them, okay? They're trying to literally change people's opinion here. And this is because this person's hurt, right? This person's hurt because they feel like they've ruined this and there's no coming back. And their way of coping is like trying to turn everybody against you. They could be trying to turn people around you against you as well, like family members and stuff or friends. Strong Libra in this reading and Pisces. I'm getting that you, you may, okay, so this person may have felt rejected by you, okay, and this is like a retaliation thing, okay, I do see you may have called them out or made them feel embarrassed and now they're trying to do the same to you. I 
I do see them trying to cause conflict with a feminine here, okay? They definitely could have a karmic that they're trying to... Oh. It's like they're trying to paint you out to be, like, obsessed with them. Okay, so if this person has a karmic, okay, or even just people around them, but a feminine in specific, they're trying to tell people that you're obsessed with them. You're literally obsessed with them. You can't stop, like, you won't let them go. Like, but literally, this is them. That's how they feel, right? And they also feel rejected by you. So now they're trying to make everybody feel like, no, okay, actually, the Divine Feminine, that's the one that's obsessed with me. And they're even making up lines to go with it. And they're trying to say that, no, they're the ones that rejected, they're the ones that rejected you, but in actual fact, they're hurt because they feel rejected by you, right? You don't understand, you don't know this, okay? I'm saying that you don't really know what this person's called. This person called... This person definitely, okay, they were angry, okay, and embarrassed, right, because it's like they felt rejected by you and they got a little bit embarrassed, so they tried to literally change the narrative and make everybody believe them. Thing is, not working, okay, not working. Okay. They've really, okay, caused a lot of petty conflict here. Um, spoke a lot of lies, made you out to look really terrible. And even, like, obsessed in a way, like, you can't let go of them. But in actual fact, it's like... They're the ones that can't let go of you. They just don't want people to see that. Yeah, like instead of this person working on, you know, following their heart, which spirit's literally in their face right now. Like, there's so much spirit in their face right now with so many signs, so many dreams, um, trying to guide them, right? Trying to make them take some type of action here. They really do want a new beginning here and they are getting guided. The thing is, um, this person really... They have an ego to them, right? And I am getting that you hurt their ego and they caused a mess that you may not realise, right? Could be dealing with a Taurus. Taurus or a Libra. Yeah, so again... They felt, like, rejected by you in some type of way, okay? You hurt their ego in some type of way. And they really made a mess here. And now they really want, like, happily ever after with you. But they feel like that this won't work because of the, the way that they've acted, okay? What they've said. What they've said about you because they've made you look terrible. Okay, they've just said lies about you that just made you look bad. And the thing is, now they want you, but the people around them think that... The 
yeah. Again, this person said a lot, okay, to a lot of light here to try to expose you. Um, but now they're really realizing they can't get over you and they want to come back, okay? You could be dealing with an Aquarius here or a Cancer. So this basically was this person being really immature and now they're really in their feelings, okay? They really want another chance, but they've caused a major mess here. Um, they've really threw dirt on your name, um, made you look bad. Could be a lot of lies, okay? Just out of anger as well, because this person was angry because they felt rejected by you, okay? The thing is, now they can't stop thinking about you. And they don't think that you're going to give them another chance because they're sort of embarrassed. They've caused a lot of drama here. They're sort of embarrassed. They feel like you would never take them back after this. Okay, so that's all I have for you. If this resonated, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.